everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Fallout 4 Mayhem. 140 plus mods running on the Xbox One. I got this mod list from Reddit. And he says it's really stable and it does have a lot of performance types of mods in there. So I'm kind of excited about that. I was really just planning on doing like a real basic core load order. I was looking on Reddit and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go all out. This guy's got tons of different creatures, weird stuff. You can already hear some stuff in the background there. I don't even know what's going on. And uh, the only unfortunate thing about this loadout for me is that uh, there's no alternate start mod. So yeah, we're starting out at the vault. I mean, I kind of don't like the uh, main story of this game at all. Uh, the whole quest to find your son or whatever. We're definitely going to be ignoring most of that. Of course, you got to use it a little bit to unlock uh, Diamond City and all that. So that's why I like the alternate start mods kind of uh, sidestep that. Then I'll do a little creative editing and uh you won't ever hear sean's name mentioned but for this whatever this is just the intro episode so i'm just jumping in uh you know starting out here because there's a lot of cool changes to this game uh that we want to explore when we uh start moving through the major areas that you're forced to go through to get this thing going all right so i'm just looking around for some loot here you know i did the uh killed a bunch of rad roaches and got this baton and uh, gun but the problem was I had a uh, an issue with the I don't know if I had it yet but there's an issue with the the skin for the they, I replaced the 9 millimeter like the look of it and uh, it just shows up invisible so I end up deleting that mod and uh, going back to the normal 10 mil but you'll see uh, i'll try to use it at some point i don't know if i i think i picked one up in the in the vault so i do have it that's why i got the baton out it just looks weird holding an invisible gun <laughs> you know so yeah there's gonna be some uh, problems and conflicts through this i'm sure but you know what it's running look at this i'm just kind of looking around seeing the frame rate it's running really smooth again i'm playing on xbox one here and uh, it took me like maybe five hours to get this load order going looking all the mods up and uh, putting them, installing them all in order to begin with to avoid any potential problems. I didn't reorder anything at all except for like two mods that I already had on there. So that's about it. All right, here we go. We're going in to Sanctuary right now. And uh, it looks like normal Sanctuary from here. But as you will see in a second, this we do have a mod that totally added a whole section in the back that's already been developed. Uh, looks like by some raiders who aren't here anymore or something. So they made a whole town out of this at some point in the 200 year span that we've been in a coma or whatever. So yeah, not too much exciting is going to happen right now, except I definitely want to show you uh, the look of this. I'm looking for Codsworth over here, but I guess they moved him uh, as part of this mod. So... We got to talk to him to clear out the bugs. I don't know if that quest is even still here, but uh, they might have just moved his location. So this is pretty cool. Now, I don't know if this is stuff that you can uh, scrap in the settlement or if it's kind of permanently there. I didn't test that part out yet, but I don't care because I'm going to leave it here because I just think it's cool. Honestly, I always struggle with uh, what to build at Sanctuary. I've never even built like a anything cool here at all honestly it's mostly like i throw a bunch of water purifiers in and i build something for the people and uh, maybe sometimes i even just throw some beds in the already existing houses and forget about it so i really like having this mod on here again i didn't hand pick any of these mods it was part of a huge plan but i like the look and sound of this mod already so again what i really want in fallout is uh, more overhauls of the main quest codsworth i don't know i don't even want to deal with him honestly or maybe make him into something cooler and different like uh, eddie in the other game you know because you know the whole mom and the whole quest with the kid i want it out i don't know if there's quests to do that uh because it's the way this game is structured i know it's really hard to go in and root out all the stuff that's tied together so it's all it's a little too embedded in the game. It's kind of why I play Skyrim a lot more than Fallout, even though I'm way more of a sci-fi and a futuristic type of, uh, you know, fan, and I want to do this type of content. I'm sorry, I'm just talking over Codsworth, but I really don't care what he's saying, honestly. 
So uh, you can uh, read it or whatever if you care. So yeah, so uh, that's why I play a lot more Skyrim lately because it's just so open. You can really just jump in and do whatever you want. Avoid any main quest. I haven't even done the main quest or any of the guild quests. And I've been playing all year with four or five different characters here. I did do one DLC quest and that's it. Anyway, so I'm just... this. Uh, playthrough is going to be like an experiment to see different moods and different types of things I can do in Fallout. So every episode uh, after the first few where I just, you know, do these first areas is going to be very different. Some will be sci-fi, some will be horror. And uh, look, we see it already. These blowflies are tough. You see, I got the gun out and there's nothing there, by the way. Uh, and I'm trying to like swat them, but I'm not close enough. All right, so you see these blowflies, pretty easy enemy, are pretty tough now. So I got some, I don't know if they're hardcore mods, but uh, definitely more challenging some aspects of these, the game at this point already. Now I have my invisible uh, 10 mil here. And I'm just missing. <laughs> Because I was not even prepared for this fight. I'm trying to go over here and loot these corpses. And, like, all of a sudden I'm getting attacked from behind with some blowflies. You know. So, yeah, we got some wild mongrels here. And uh, if you'll notice over here, we have zombies. So, I actually did change it back uh, to ghoul, feral ghouls. But I might change it back to zombies. And what's really cool, you'll see when they're alive. Is, uh, they move more like movie zombies. Like real slow and uh but they're still incredibly deadly and scary so uh it's a really cool thing all right let's get off this vault suit and get on some road leathers and uh, yeah we're just gonna be playing your basic uh outlaw raider wastelander type i guess i don't really have a role play in mind although i am definitely going to be getting into the character's head in specific incidents for sure so uh I don't really have any story. I don't care about the vault thing. I really just don't want to think about it, honestly. Uh, but I haven't come up with any other type of backstory. But the thing is, all right, here's the thing with Fallout. I have at least two or three different series that I have planned that have a backstory and have a real coherent type of plot and movement. They're just going to require like a lot of production and a lot of different mods to make things look a different way and, and go a different way. So what I'm doing here, I started a series called the Mad Scientist Workshop, which I'm still going to do, uh, where I just want to work out ideas and stuff. And this uh, is going to be sort of the same thing. Now that was a little more deliberate, and this is more a little random. So I'm just throwing stuff my way. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what I like and what I don't like and what looks good visually and what it feels like good action. And then I'm going to take those mods and piece them together and do like a real storytelling uh, wastelander type of uh, character. So this is my long term plan for Fallout 4 content on this channel. And uh, this is just fun. And I think it's really cool to do like a maxed out, uh, you know, Xbox load order. I do say 140 plus mods because out of the 150 limit, there were a few that didn't exactly work uh, or they weren't available uh, anymore or I couldn't find them because it's really hard to search. I don't know. So there's like five or six mods and like two or three that I just didn't want to use. And then we also have this, which is the only mod I've ever actually made myself. Uh, it's called Nuka Gauss Rifle. And uh, it just has the normal Gauss Rifle skin because I wanted this to be available for PlayStation as well. And uh, it actually got like 10,000 downloads on PlayStation when I put it out. Very popular mod there. The, you know, for the first week it was available. Uh, on Xbox and PC, uh, you know, people have more variety. But this is an interesting little item here. So... In this game, you know, you have the Fat Man, which is a mini nuke, right? So this thing is a big clunky thing. It does a ton of damage. It's kind of fun, but it's like you only use it in certain situations. But I love the little nuclear explosion. And the thing is, if you're too close to it, it's going to blow you up like really easily. So it's got a huge splash damage. So always, you know, when I was playing back in the day, in the other games, not even Fallout 4, I wanted to use this thing like in closer quarters and fire it faster and maybe have a smaller, you know, range or radius. So I made this and I used the Gauss because I wanted you to be able to charge it. So if you charged it, it'd be bigger. And if you didn't charge, it'd be smaller. But I couldn't really figure out that mechanic uh, to tie it in with the nuclear explosion. All right, let's fight these zombies here. So anyway, it's just something you can use in close quarters and it'll have the nuclear blast. 
And it's actually still kind of hard to take down enemies with it. It's not OP at all. And you'll see it in use pretty soon. So here we go. Let's kill our first zombie. Now, what uh, what this is is here, this thing's still alive. Even though it had only a sliver of health. Because this mod has it so you only can kill them using headshots. Or you bash them in the head like we just did. I mean, I think we hit their shoulder. But, you know, like the bash counts. So, yeah, it's a pretty hardcore mod. And, uh... Really realistic if you want to get into that zombie sort of uh, nightmarish, dystopian type of situation. Now, I do end up turning that off, but okay, here's another mod the Famish. These are just like horrible deathclaw looking creatures. I guess they're starving to death, and uh, our little 10 mil here, or well, I don't know what gun we have right now. This gun's doing no damage, a tiny little sliver of damage. So let's take out the Nuka Gauss rifle and check that out. So we're going to throw some a little mini nukes its way. We're out of bats. And so you see, it's just a small explosion. I actually changed the sound files uh, as well and the trajectory. And uh, it's uh, actually pretty complicated, the stuff I did, even though it's pretty simple. I didn't just turn the damage down. And the splash damage is the main thing that is... Uh, affects everything the ballistic damage if you get hit by it it doesn't do that much damage it's just the explosion that does the damage all right i don't know if we killed that famished or not or if it just ran so i don't know the behavior of them so let's take on this zombie not a feral ghoul just a normal old zombie uh straight out of the movies look at how slow it's moving but i'll tell you uh these things are pretty deadly all right well it looks like dog meat there i took this thing down and uh, oh, we're going to hope that dog meat's okay. Okay, well, we'll just wait. All right, so see, it's still alive, though, because it did not get the headshot in. And I guess dog meat's not capable of doing headshots. So we just bash him in the head. And uh, that's actually my favorite way to fight zombies is I'll take their legs out, and they'll just be laying there, and then I'll bash him in the head. So I may actually turn the headshot thing back on. It was You'll see, though. The reason this is called mayhem, you're not going to really understand it in this episode, but... Maybe like two or three episodes from now, uh, it gets really hard just to go anywhere. There's so many random spawns and crazy gangs of different things, and uh, it's uh, pretty harrowing. But for now, it's a nice peaceful day here at the Red Rocket. We got the crickets chirping. Another amazing environmental mod, by the way. Uh, it really feels like you're out in nature with that stuff. And it's kind of pleasant in contrast to the swirling uh, chaos of the wind that we hear. All right, let's get some stims, and uh, all right, so dog meat doesn't have a thing on them. Let's see if we can use this. We haven't cleared out the mole rats yet. Yeah, we can already use this, so I don't know if that's a change uh, from a mod, or maybe I'm just wrong, and you can always use it before you clear out the mole rats. But, or maybe they're not here, which would be awesome if you ever watched my Ghost Chef series. The whole, <laughs> his whole origin story is that he hates these mole rats that pop out right here so go watch that if you haven't already uh it's a voice character and uh, i'm still planning on bringing him back someday soon uh but for now there's 98 episodes you can go through and catch up on that all right let's turn this radio off just in case uh, that peeks through all right so yeah it's just a nice little peaceful day here at the good old red rocket we're looking pretty good uh, I don't have exactly the uniform I want. Hopefully there's some cool modded uniforms I can put on later in the game. But I always like the road leathers. Raider leathers, uh, uh not exactly my thing for this character at all. Alright, so we can try to sack hood on. Nah, I don't know. I kind of like the, uh, war paint or whatever I have on my face with this character. So, this is basically, like, one of the, uh, preset characters. And she was Asian, and I just made her skin darker, so maybe she's, like, you know, mixed race a little bit. So, uh, I don't know. I just like the way it looked. Wasn't trying too hard in the, uh, character creation screen. Alright, let's just peek around the rocket, see if we can get any good loot here. I guess I'm going to play this uh, for real for now and not use the cheat terminal to give me building materials. So yeah, we're going to get into building some settlements and stuff eventually. I kind of don't want to start out here. I, you know, you always end up building at the rocket first. So I want to find another settlement at some point. And the thing is, I am going to go uh, next and rescue Preston Garvey and start the Minutemen quest. I don't know how far I'm going to get into it, but... 
Uh, we did uh, get some mods that changed their appearance and some of their behavior, I think, as well. So I definitely want to test those out. So we're going to head down there next to Concord and uh, find them. And then he'll give us some settlements that need our help. And then we'll end up making our base at one of those because I'm not going to stay at either of these two. And I'm not going to go to the drive-in either. <laughs> not for a while. So I want, definitely want a smaller place. All right, so we're going to take dog meat with us. Why the heck not? I always like having dog meat by my side. And uh, we might get rid of them and get... Uh, I really want to get Kate or one of the other followers for sure. So anyway, that's about it for this episode. A nice little intro to what I'm trying to do here when we play on the Xbox with two 140 plus mods. We're calling it Fallout 4 Mayhem. And join us here next time for more mayhem.